I'm Chip Sparks with Circuit Brief. Let's flash through the latest tech news. Kicking things off with a cyber twist. Thousands of servers around the world are under silent siege thanks to a nasty new exploit. Hackers are actively abusing a vulnerability labeled CVE-2024-36401 to quietly deploy malware on over 7,100 GeoServer installations globally. This one's not your average botnet attack. The threat actors are tapping into an ecosystem of lesser-known tools like Polar Edge and something called Gay Femboy. Yeah, not a typo. To orchestrate cyber crimes deep under the radar. It's all about stealth monetization, and it's pushing the boundaries of traditional cyber attack playbooks. Bottom line, get those servers patched. Meanwhile, the FTC is throwing down the gauntlet hard. In a sharply worded statement today, the Federal Trade Commission told American tech giants, don't cave to foreign governments asking you to cripple encryption or censor speech. The warning comes as several countries intensify pressure on tech firms to hand over data or build in back doors, often under the guise of national security. The FTC's take? That kind of compromise erodes privacy, weakens public trust, and sets a dangerous precedent. This is one to watch, especially as global tensions around digital sovereignty start heating up. Now, if you've been pulling your hair out over Outlook refusing to load your email, you're not alone. Microsoft confirmed today that it's working on a fix for a bug hitting Outlook mobile accounts set up via hybrid modern authentication. Users have been reporting connection failures and sync delays. No timeline for a full fix just yet, but Microsoft says updates are on the way. Hang in there. All right, tech warriors, time for your gear check. And have I got something for you? If you work in IT, cybersecurity, ethical hacking, or deep system maintenance, you know how powerful a bootable USB can be. That's why you need to check out the Ultimate USB version 2.1 from bootableusbs.com. This thing packs a ridiculous 13 categories and 50 bootable environments. We're talking hacking, digital forensics, privacy tools for dark web exploration, disaster recovery, data backup, you name it. Even some retro gaming if you need a break. It's the Swiss Army Knife of Tech. The link's in the description. You'll thank me later. Back to the news. AI is suspiciously quiet today, but don't let that fool you. Industry insiders are buzzing about upcoming policy changes that could impact how companies train their large language models, especially those built on public data. While nothing official hit the wire yet, sources say regulations could start targeting not just how data is used, but how it's gathered in the first place. We're keeping our ears perked. And finally, circling back to our old frenemy, privacy. With governments stepping up digital oversight and cyber criminals getting more creative, there's a growing call inside the tech community to revisit foundational security assumptions. Encryption, transparency in machine learning, and decentralized data storage are all gaining traction again. Feels like 2015 called and wants its privacy war back. But this time, there's a lot more at stake. Chip Sparks, signing off from Circuit Brief, and I'll see you tomorrow.